you gonna be in the video. Mm -hmm. Please. You need to go away. You need to go away. We've never had them. Perfect. The whole yeah. time. Yeah, go ahead. Everything is decorated. All the time. Um, hello friends, welcome back to Graceful Living and welcome if you're new. As you can see, I have a special guest today. Most of you know who he is. He is my husband, Ronnie, and we are doing a Q&A today. I put up, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago, if it was time to do a new Q&A and I received a lot of questions. I don't know that we will get to each and every one today because we don't want this to be too long, but we wanted to go ahead and answer some of them. So we will begin. Okay, so our first question is, I would like to know what you and Ronnie have done since you have been married during a difficult season in your marriage. You wanna start? We've never had them. <laughs> Perfect. The whole time. Um, wow, wow, uh, it's quite a question. Probably uh, the strategies have been simple, like, you know, try to be prayerful, try to be respectful, uh, certainly remain committed, totally dedicated, um, humble, try to be humble, try to, um, you know, don't take things personal, try to put the the best uh, for the whole family first. So probably those some common strategies. And then maybe over time, we've gotten better at that as we've gotten yeah, a little definitely. older, a little wiser. So probably the same things, we just got better at doing some of the, the critical things uh, like that. I definitely think time is a huge factor in that question because it's going to be different all along your marriage. In the beginning, we were just learning how each of us dealt with hard mm -hmm. situations. So mm -hmm. kind of learning each other and knowing what to say, what triggered, what didn't, um, what worked and what didn't. Okay, next question is, do you guys still date? Yeah. Yes. We date every week and we have, um, I think since we've been married. Yeah. With well, the, before that. Yeah, with the exception of like me being gone or yes. when the kids were little and we didn't have child care, stuff like that. But we tried to make a weekly thing of it. Sometimes it would be real elaborate. Sometimes it's just uh, together for a walk and some coffee. But it's just a, a definite point on the map where it's our time, us time, and nobody else's time. And what has been really sweet about Ronnie is, you know, we've been married for 30 years now, but he will still ask me almost every Friday if I want to date him. Hmm. And so that's always been extremely sweet to me. But yeah, we still date every Friday night. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, the next one, do you have any best friends? So I would say I definitely have a wonderful group of ladies that I call my best friends. There is a group of us that we do mm -hmm pretty much everything together. Now there are seasons of life where we're busy. Most of my friends are in education, um, but if I had to pick a favorite, it would be Shell. My friends know that she's my favorite, so I don't have a hard time saying that, but I love my friends and um, yeah, I count them as my best friends, so. Yeah, I don't know that I have best friends. That's probably not the type of idea for me. Uh, I have, uh, I have maybe colleagues that I'm more connected to, uh, that I have a, a, a more meaningful relationship with, but I don't have dudes I hang out with. I'm not a hangout dude. I'm not a, you know, that, that that's not me. I'm, I'm very driven and intentional and purposeful. And so, um, yeah, hanging out with my boys is not kind of a thing for me. It just doesn't fit my personality. Uh, but but in terms of you know my closest human you know Dina is my human Dina is my person uh, in the world and then um, yeah then it's just kind of an order after that yeah and vice versa and I, mean, I think our family has stuck really close together because mm -hmm. we've we've 
kind of been on our own quite a few times when we moved away we were on our own um, deployments you know you kind of get closer together with those and so we um, we like to spend a lot of time together mm -hmm. so okay next one do you and Ronnie pray daily do we pray daily yes yes we do yes we pray daily we each have our own prayer time mm -hmm. we have prayer time together we have family prayer time um so yes most definitely well i'm not gonna say that i have been perfect and made sure that each and every day i have found my own prayer corner because that's not true there have been times in life where that just hasn't happened but um as a family we always do and i try to make sure that no matter through the day there's some type of prayer time so I live a very religious life, a very religiously and liturgically ordered life. Prayer, uh, times of prayer through the day, times of scripture. In that regard, I'm very routine, very, very committed to that. It's part of my whole centering mental health uh, process. Um, so I, I am very disciplined in that regard, very orderly and disciplined, uh, because it's a very, very important part of just my my well-being so i do things in the morning like my little channel that i do the daily devotions i do they started for me then i shared them with my family and then dean wanted me to share them with folks and so i we've always i've always had some kind of process of a contemplative life or religious life like that. he's always like you said been very disciplined in that area that is something that is mm -hmm truly him so yes and he did mention his channel and i know i've mentioned it before but he does have a, a new and upcoming youtube channel um and so if you haven't gone over there i'll leave that link down below it's thriving right now and he's doing yeah. a great job so i'm very proud of him thanks babe <laughs> um let's see how long have you been a stay-at-home wife mm. mom so almost 26 yeah. years almost yeah. 26 years and um sure you know i was just talking to our oldest yesterday or yeah. the day before about that and that is my trying not to cry true calling in life i love 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 being a wife and a mom um and anything that kind of gets in the way of that kind of I, it disrupts my my well my mental health well being, and um, if I can't get things done as a wife and a mom, um, it makes it really hard on my day. So I try to make sure that that stays scheduled in things. But it has been um, something that is very near and dear to my heart. I'm so grateful that I've been able to stay home, and I know that not everybody can or has and that's you know everyone has their own way of life but it has definitely worked for us i think in a good way the boys have always enjoyed me being home i think ronnie mm -hmm. has enjoyed it just our family works smoother i think with me home and i'm very very grateful to have been home this long well i think it's the, the whole idea of, uh, you know, somebody at home making a home, somebody in the world making the bread. I think this is uh, historically tr valuable and true, transcendently true. Um, it's not to marginalize the, the wife and the mother. Actually, there's not a whole lot of things more important to a home than the wife and the mother and them on the home front caring and protecting and organizing and cleaning i could never pay uh, dina for all the things she does right see people say well you're just a mom or you're a stay-at-home mom that's just such silly language really just a silly approach to it because you know chef if you were to pay a chef or you were to pay a house cleaner or you were to pay a, a laundry service right it costs twenty dollars to 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 clean a coat or a suit nowadays. You, there's no way you could pay uh, a, a somebody like Dina for all the work and all the service. Plus when I've been away. So it, it's the way, the best way to organize a family for the long haul, for the end game. And it took a lot of time and, and 
cost us a lot. I mean, we were poor for a long time. We were poor. But it was a choice we made, and we were willing to trade, you know, some things away for some other things that were of greater value. And, right. and Dina being home, raising the children, and keeping things squared away made all the other stuff possible. I wouldn't, you know, have a military career. I wouldn't have the education I do had it not been for Dina locking down the home front, like we say uh, in the services. So I think, I still think it's the best plan, and I think economically we could argue for that philosophically theologically spiritually morally uh, we could argue it's worth whatever it costs a family to to do it that way mm -hmm. okay next question how did you meet church yes church mm -hmm. he actually came to my home church my pastor then asked him to come and be Come the youth pastor there at our church mm -hmm. and that was back in 1989 mm -hmm. late 89 um, so mm -hmm. that's how long we have known each other mm -hmm. um, what is your favorite meal prepared by Dina well man that's too that, that, there's too many of those it, I have never ever been disappointed with a meal with one exception it's horrible. It was some kind of chicken sauce or something. But chicken. I didn't make the sauce. It was terrible. It was a bottled sauce, and he so, didn't yeah, like. So, I loved it, but he didn't. It like was it. terrible. So after out of thirty years of, of you know, it's all of them have been great, and they've just gotten better. I'm actually now really, really persnickety, uh, kind of a food snob now because it's hard to buy food that's better than Dina's food. So you know, you go spend a hundred dollars somewhere, and it's pretty disappointing because. We could have eaten better for less at yes, home. Definitely. It's really, Dina is really that good in, in food. Really, we went like 90 days one time without ever eating the same thing again. So that... We did try that once. Yeah. And that was a lot of fun. Yeah, was. so uh, they've all been great. She she could probably make way more money than I do with like a food truck or something. My The people I work with ask all the time, hey, is Dina baking this week? So yeah, she's she's brilliant in that regard. Okay, next question. When do you plan on retiring and will we stay in California? Oh man, I would love to leave California. I'll tell you that now. Uh, I want a place with more space. Uh, I, you know, long term, I would, I don't know if it's possible, but I would love to do like a, a retreat center for uh, pastors, families, uh, people in need, veterans, uh, you know, uh, like almost like a hostel, right? Being a cook and, and they, people could come and rest. We have a garden where they could go and spend some time. Little lake, you know, people could come and retreat. And then I could do some counseling, some therapy work and education. So I would love something like that. Um, I don't foresee myself uh, retiring. I think I'm probably just evolving as a clergyman and as a professional and... Um, maybe move into education or something more but I don't I don't think so I'm I'm healthy and and um you know I I still want to be in the game but I still want to play the game so I'm in the game in it to win it okay where are you both originally from so I am from Arizona mm -hmm. originally but I only lived there for about a year um my parents and my brothers lived there longer than mm -hmm. I did and then we moved to San Diego California and then um, moved a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then you are from? California, yeah, LA area. Family, born and raised in um, in um, Los Angeles yeah. at the USC Medical Center right there on five by the Dodger Stadium. Huge. Yeah, so I've been here most of my life with the exception of uh, military or ministry. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, would you be willing to do more cooking videos, sweet or savory? <laughs> Just any kind of cooking. You know, I I would. And again, I think the thing that keeps me from doing them more often is because I feel like we just don't eat a variety of foods anymore um, like we used to. You know, I'm not making a ton of starchy sides um, or anything like that. So to me, it makes it a little bit harder to think someone is going to want to sit down and watch that. It's hard to even think that now. Um, and I'm so grateful to all of you that have subscribed and have followed me this what, about year and a half now. It's been wonderful, but it's still hard to wrap my mind around videos being watched. So 
I need, yes, I, I'm sure that they will come up here and there. Yeah, encourage her to do it. I, people at work, my work, people I work with ask all the time, hey, how come Nina doesn't do more cooking stuff? She really is great. I mean, she's really, really, really good. And um, yeah, encourage her to do it. I, I'd love to see it. Maybe even a different channel or another day. Hey, just ask her to do like Dina Cooks, Cooking with Dina or something. Oh, yeah. It's great. Okay. Okay. Do you have plans to decorate and plant in the backyard this year? So ah. we've actually already kind of been working yeah. on the backyard. We don't work on it too much during the winter months because it's just, we're not out there. It does get pretty cold here. We're busy. Um, and we just kind of let it, the gardeners kind of take over mm -hmm. during the winter months, but Ronnie's already been out there. Um, he's put down new wood chips mm -hmm. and done a little planting and pruning and things like that. So it's looking great right now. Uh, I, I like uh, to work with the seasons, not against the seasons. You know, I like to leave things dormant. I think it's important to leave the ground dormant, leave things alone. Uh, you know, Nino, know, you know, wants everything pristine all the time. So we kind of go back and forth on that. But, but it's springtime, stuff is growing. Everything's like super happy right now. The, the roses are going crazy. The roses olives are, are going beautiful. great. And we have so many different types of plants back there. Lots of different plants. We have over 100 different varieties. Yeah. So it's kind of, you have to manage them at different times, different paces. But it's looking great. Maybe Dean will take you out there pretty soon. Oh, I'm it's, sure. It's looking great. If you hear any scratching, Melissa's trying to get in the room. Oh, meow, meow. Um, okay. Is the outdoor fountain you purchased still working well? Yes, it is. And in fact, it's working really well. And I'm super surprised because that was something we didn't really put away or really take care of yeah. this winter we just kind of yeah. left it out and it's it's doing great so yeah. it was a great buy yeah the pump is pretty pretty well protected mm -hmm. from the elements yeah, and as long as you just don't we use simple green to kind of break up the alkali and yeah it's doing that great worked really well yeah. so if you do have a fountain mm -hmm. i kind of scrubbed a little bit and then put some simple green let it set mm -hmm. and went back to it maybe an hour later yeah. and it just cleaned up really it's biodegradable well. so you can just wash it off right. in the grass it won't hurt anything right okay what sparked your interest in decorating and how long have you been decorating oh and forever yeah yeah dina's always been a decorator now my decorating i could say has evolved over mm -hmm. the years mm -hmm. um but thinking back i've always liked a certain style mm -hmm. i just think when I was younger, I tend to go with a trend more and not stay true to who I was. And so I think that's what made me evolve is finally staying true to who I am, mm -hmm. no matter what's going on. Like black has been mm -hmm. something I have loved for years and years and years. We've had our black furniture for probably 15 years mm -hmm. now. So I loved it when it wasn't popular and right now it's so popular but mm -hmm. um do you have an artistic family background i know i think i mm -hmm. do i think my mom was very artistic mm -hmm. in food she mm -hmm. could create the most beautiful centerpieces and she did a lot of catering um my dad helped but he didn't have that artistic mm -hmm. part he just was a great chef so she did it in that way. My brother, Mark, he was very artistic. He could draw like nobody's business. So I think it just kind of comes from that. My older brother, Keith, and I took on the home decorating part. So mm -hmm. yeah, I would say. Yeah, my family's musical. All yeah, my family plays true. music. And uh, mom, my mom was uh, calligraphy and needlepoint and sewing. She did a lot of those kind of things. Uh, and ironically, she's left-handed, so she had a very unique kind of penmanship. And then uh, my uncles were craftsmen, artisans, uh, cabinets, clocks, uh, inlays. So, yeah, I would think both our families were very artistic. Um, do you decorate your bathrooms, laundry room, and French por front porch area? Yes. Yes, I do. All and I, I have videos all on all of them. So, yes. just... Go to my channel and press videos and they'll all come up there. Everything is decorated. All the time. <laughs> um, do you do wedding florals? I have done wedding florals in the past. I've kind of put together 
complete weddings in the past. And then um, I've helped quite a bit um, just with a lot of weddings. So yes, mm -hmm. I've done quite a few. Um, I was wondering how many hours a day you spend cleaning? Um, it probably depends on yeah, the day. Yeah, I think it just depends on the day. Yeah. Monday is my busiest day as far as cleaning, my heaviest day, I guess. I like to kind of what I call reset our house after the weekend. Um, we are busy on the weekend and I don't like to clean a lot when Ronnie is home or the boys or, you know, when it's kind of family time. So I try to get everything done through the week and then just kind of put blinders on. Um, it's never bad. No, our but, house is never dirty. Let me just interject here. No, Dina, you know, the house has got to be clean. The house is terrible. That is never true. Uh, it is just Dina. Uh, it's not Dina's standard. Uh, but so she has a routine. I think the secret is, and whether she communicates or not, is the routine, right? I generally know where Dina is based on the hour, the time, the day, right? And she's she's very routine. That's how come our house is always so nice. It's because it's very routine and she gets through the day. So I, she probably, if, if you put it all together, it's probably three or four hours of, of cleaning, but it's kind of spaced out and there's laundry in there and there's cooking in there and there's friends. And oh, so Dina stays incredibly busy, right? And all the variety of things she does. So it would probably fit three or four hours, I would imagine. Yeah. The next question, how do you handle occasional messes that happen around the house? We don't have messes around the house. We've never had messes around the house. The house is always clean. It's always really pretty spotless, uh, immaculate. But every it's a routine, right? It's a pattern. It's how we've always lived. The boys have always put their stuff away. We put our stuff away, so it's... Yeah, and we did teach them when they were younger if they were done with one bucket it yeah, needed it to be put away before sure. they got anything else out and sure. you know things like that their rooms have never been messy no. really we all try to contribute you know everybody yeah. steps ones their dishes ask dean about that but everybody step ones their dishes and just simple stuff and that's it's a you know shared space so everybody shares the responsibility of keeping it nice yeah step one is we don't leave dishes in the sink you know it's one step to rinse your dish and put it in the dishwasher. So that's what that's about. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you find your strength to be such an accomplished, well-presented, classy woman? Your style is especially exquisite in my opinion. Well, thank you very much. Um, I do not feel that way. Most often I struggle with who I am and what I see in the mirror. Um, but as far as clothing and things like that, that has probably stemmed from my mom. My mom was always very well dressed, even to tell her last days, she wore the sweetest clothes. You know, she always looked very polished. Well, Dina likes the Victorian era type, you know, the lady, the idea of a lady, the lady motif, that whole trope. That's an important feature. You know, we, we, uh, we are happy to uh, kind of accentuate the genders and gender roles, femininity, masculinity. So we, we, we care about those things. We think those things are important in society, important to our family, important to our children, the little people in the world, little humans in the world. They need a, a, a non-toxic masculine man. They need a loving, strong, feminine woman, right? These, these are characteristics that are important historically in our society and so I think we accept responsibility to be those kind of models so that part of that factors in too. You might as well just let her in because she's she like going to scratch, go scratch the door down <laughs> to get in. Uh, hello Mila. Hello Mila. And here she is. And there she is. Okay. Get down you. There she is. Get down. Hello. Get down. And there's the other one. Okay. Sorry. Oh goodness, now they're gonna snort. We might have to put them back out. You guys ready to go outside? No. <laughs> yes, please take them outside. Well, they, they were sitting over there for a long time before yeah. they heard the door. Hello. Oh. Hello, this is. Uh, hello. 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 Come on, Bob. Okay, we can take them. Thank you. Go on, go outside. Go okay. get a treat. Go party. Come on. Come on. Thanks, I. Okay, um. What got you started on YouTube? Actually, what got me 
<laughs> started. Yes, he he tried very hard to keep encouraging me to put a video up on YouTube, but I actually started on Facebook. I um, started, my friends were always asking how to clean this or how to get this stain out or what I did to organize this. Or, and so I started with Tuesday tips on Facebook just for my friends. And then everybody started encouraging me to do a vlog. And I thought there is no way I can do that. I don't want to see myself on camera. I can't speak well enough to do that, but I finally just took the plunge and did it. And I'm so grateful because I love this community. Um, what did you do before you became a stay at home mom? I actually worked for our county's mental health system. Um, so that was my last job and I really enjoyed what I did. It was very rewarding to me what I did. I enjoyed it quite a bit, but I love being a mom and a wife much more. What is the hardest thing you've done or gone through? That's a lot. There's just a lot, a lot. That's, um, the, in, you know, 50 years of living in 30, years of marriage you chalk up a lot of hits right you accumulate a lot of shots and so um let me just let me answer my side of it is i'm just thankful that i made it through and that, that they those things made me better not better yeah we've had obviously deployments which were very hard on us all um when i was pregnant with Josiah, that was very hard. I didn't get diagnosed until I became pregnant, but I was born with achalasia. And like I said, they tried to diagnose me at 19 and I was misdiagnosed and I was having complications um, before I got pregnant and then ended up pregnant in the middle of testing and my esophagus completely closed. And so I was intravenously fed for a year and the whole duration of my pregnancy, we had 22 doctors, um, many hospital stays, an actual deployment in the middle of that. I was in a coma for a week, um, surgeries, yeah. all kinds of stuff. So that was extremely hard. Um, and then I think losing my parents has been very hard. Losing my mom has probably been the hardest. Um, but yeah, we've, but like Ronnie said, we've come through it all, thankfully, and are better for it. We've got great testimony. Um, I've got two children that should not be here, and I'm very grateful. Um, Let's see, what is your favorite thing about each other? Oh, what is your favorite thing about me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dean's got a great smile. I love seeing her smile, great smile. Uh, she's very kind, uh, very thoughtful, very, very thoughtful to all other people. Very empathetic, right? Cares, like really connects with people. Uh, so all kinds of things. Um, yeah, she's great. She's pretty awesome. So, you know, I could get down into the granular. She's got beautiful hair, right? Gorgeous hair. People ask her all the time, who does your hair? Gosh. Just, you know. So all kinds of I have of to things. delete this one out of here. Uh, so she's she's great. And she's she's smarter um, than she gives herself credit for. You know, Dina has this, this real self-image issue. The only person on the planet that doesn't think Dina's great and beautiful is Dina. So I'll, I'll leave it like that. My favorite thing about Ronnie is probably how much he loves me. Oh. Oh, yeah. And oh, my muscles. Should, yeah, your muscles. <laughs> Crazy. Um, and obviously, I think he's the most handsome man in the world and smartest man in the world. So, yeah, there's quite a bit. I love you. Thanks. I think you're amazing. Thanks. <laughs> um, how far did you both go in school? Yeah, I went a long way. I don't way. think Ronnie's ever quit. <laughs> yeah, probably not. I've got a long way. So I have several degrees. I have a terminal degree. I have a doctorate in ministry. So I've gone a long way in school. And um, yeah, I've gone, I've gone as far as you can go uh, in the American system. 
uh, I could, I thought about doing like a postdoc fellowship or something, but uh, work and all the other things may preclude that. I'm really, really fascinated by uh, science and theology, so I'm very interested in how, you know, STEM, things like STEM, uh, science, technology, engineering, math, connect with uh, the scriptures. Uh, so I've got a lot of things I would like to still do academically. Uh, so we'll see where it goes. And as for myself, I did go to college for a little while, but um, was proposed to on a spring break and never went back. Mm -hmm. I wanted to become a kindergarten teacher back then. Um, and I still love little ones and being able to teach them and just interact with them. It's been, I've had a couple opportunities through a homeschool to be involved in small classes and I absolutely love it. I love watching them learn. So, um, do you have a monthly budget for groceries and household needs? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, because we were poor. So we had to budget for a long time and we still have to be uh, budget. I am not as good as uh, I wish I was. Like I've probably, you did great. But I, we probably could be really rich if, um, if I was as careful with our money as we work hard. Because um, well, you work. Yeah. Ronnie works very hard. Um, yeah. He does, you know, he's in the military as well. He's always tried to supply us a great living yeah. and he's done a great job at it. Yes, there have been times where we were like, mm, how are we going to make it? Especially when oh, I yeah. quit, you know, yeah. almost half of our income went out the yeah. door from yeah. one day to the next and that you know when I first started staying home I'll be honest I didn't think it would last I thought maybe six months at the most because that's a huge step but 26 yeah. years later and I'm still home and he's yeah. done an amazing job far better than it's not been I'm, that amazing yes. but but I've always hustled like I've worked a couple jobs I've always worked a couple jobs um part-time jobs, bivocational jobs, army, whatever. So I've always worked a lot of jobs. I would encourage, really encourage families though to get that right, uh, really get that right. We could have be, we could be a lot farther along had I been better at it, had I been more disciplined and more structured in my approach. But um, yeah, it's, uh, we, we've we always had some kind of- budget. Always had some kind of budget. And I try yeah. very hard, like mm -hmm. Ronnie, sometimes if he's gone with me, it's like, it's okay if it's a couple dollars yeah. over. But I pride myself on staying on budget. And even if it's a couple dollars less than, um, I take a pen and paper with me and I, make sure that I mark every item down. That's a personality thing, right? <laughs> and stay. Well, it, not only a personality thing, but I've stayed at home. And so I have felt that that's part of my job here at home is to make sure that he didn't have to worry about me overspending in that respect, you know? And as much as he goes to work and tries to do a great job, I try to stay here and do a great job. So it's my job. Okay, and then the last question on here is, how do you budget? Together or separate? Uh, together. Together. Sure, sure. Yeah. We just think about what we need. And... I have one separate account that is my kind of, my own kind of shopping spending. My, my mm -hmm. friends make fun of me because I have a star on my debit card to keep it separate. So they call it my star card. But Yeah, that's, you know, we just, the household and we, I mean, it's pretty simple in some regards. The bills come in, we got to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. So uh, we yeah. keep it kind of simple in that regard. Yeah. And I think even even when I worked outside of the home, we did the same thing. Mm -hmm. We never had separate accounts mm -hmm. or anything like that. No. No. So anyways, I think thank you so much for sticking around. I appreciate all the questions. As always, if you ever have any, you can either leave them down in the comments below and we can either hold them for another Q&A or just answer them as they come in. And you can always reach me on Instagram or Facebook as well and DM me there. But we appreciate you all. We really appreciate the love and support that you've shown us. And we wish you a wonderful rest of your week. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.